All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy K. My name's Andy, as always, and welcome back to the uh, the weekly finale of Life is Strange. It's not the week finale, <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, this is going to be uh, the last episode of my playthrough of Life is Strange for now. Um, I might be picking it up again in the future, but for now, we're just going to give the game a pause after this episode. So. As tradition with uh, my finales here at Andy K, this one's going to be a little bit longer. So I hope you guys uh, hope you guys like it, and I hope I can uh, <laughs> do the episode because uh, I'm a little tired right now, and it's uh, about three three thirty in the morning right now. So hopefully I can hang in there, but uh, I want to make it a little bit longer for you guys. But anyway, I know you're a little impatient, Max. Just settle down. So, um, yeah, in the previous episode, uh, we did some stuff and things. We took a shower, put on the same damn clothes that we normally have. See? Same damn clothes. And, uh, saved Kate again, I guess. Well, we talked to her a little bit. I guess she has some kind of viral video thing going on. And, uh, <laughs> the link in the, uh, in the bathroom is, it, is to an actual website. That you can check out. So, anyway, let's not keep. Uh, oh, by the way, Chloe's waiting for us. We're gonna go to uh, get some breakfast. So, let's not keep her waiting. Let's continue. All right, Max, jeez. Crossing your damn arms. Is this it? That's not it. How do I get out of here? All right, let's run a little fast. There we go, exit, cool. So yeah, like I said, I'm a little tired right now. Oh, excuse me, so reflexes are a little bit slower than normal. I hope I can make it through this episode actually. Anyway. Oh, right, sorry. This game has like a weird thing where it's hard for me to figure out when I'm supposed to uh, take control. Like some games kind of lean you into it, like if they have like a little hint box in the corner or something like that, where it's like, you know, hey, dumbass, wake up, wake up. All right, so anyway, uh, da -da 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 -da. Eh, let's talk to this guy. Eh, he's got some burbs. Kind of humming to himself, I guess. Uh, okay. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up. Animals, huh? Let's see. Let's talk about the animals, I guess. That's one thing I truly love about our cave, babe. It's all those cool animals in the forest. Animals. See, see a doe. It's normal, right? But I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw those. Could be a sign about your destiny. See, young Max, you you're a wizard. My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> see, young Max. Y'all a wizard, or I guess y'all a witch, Max. Here's y'all letter to Hogwarts. <laughs> Expecto Patronus. All right, well, we got snow. So what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Hmm. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Uh, well, it was one of those, like, kind of creepy, but kind of not, because he's the janitor and he works here, so obviously he would see her later. It's still a little creepy. Okay, how the fuck do I get out of here? I can still hear him humming! Jeez. Wrecking my steez, Sam! Wait, didn't I just... 
Hey, it's Warren. Check it out. What's up? Warren, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Nothing. You're waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. What? Uh, thank you, or that's uh, I do. I do owe him one, so we'll give him a thanks. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. Yeah. Don't. Oh, yes, you do. Mm -hmm. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. What's Hell that? yeah! Why are you making Ooh, a rock star mm. uh, I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. Damn. I was too scared to tell Prince. Give you more info later. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that driving is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape. Yeah. Let's go yes, ape. That's exactly what I mean. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. All right. And don't doubt yourself, Max. Go have some fun for once in your fucking life. Hmm. Okay. Maybe talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Oh shit. This has something to do with Kate. This ought You're to Rachel. be good. Mm -hmm. Oh. I guess we're just not going to explore that anymore. Well then. Wait, what? <laughs> That's one of, one of the nice little touches about this series is like, you know, you hear like the ambient noise and stuff like that, then you, you hear like the muffling of like putting in earbuds. Then the music plays. It's it's a nice touch. And you know, I'm, I'm gushing over the aesthetics of this game, but you know, it's, you know, like I say, it's a nice touch. <laughs> Just kind of take in the scenery and all that. So it's kind of, so it's kind of weird that they have a bus. Like, we've already deduced that Max is in like a college, you know, prep school. But judging from the timeline, it's like, uh, you know, that she would be in a college age thing. You know, Blackwell is a college, or post, you know, Institute of Higher Learning, I guess. But, you know, with an actual school bus, it's like, almost like high school, junior high or something like that. So I'm like, I'm kind of confused. I don't know. I might look this up later because that, that part just kind of bothers me. A little bit of an inconsistency. Now, if it was like a, like a public transport bus or something like that, okay, I get that. But it's a fucking school bus. You know, that's that's a little strange to me. Jesus, four oh seven for a gallon of gas. <laughs> wow. Hey, where are we at here? Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Four bucks a gallon. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like less than half that now thank god Oof. 
I remember those four dollar days. Ugh, that was brutal. B R Oodle. Alrighty, what's kind of going on here? Speak to that fisherman. Catch some serious fish. Word. Oh yeah, that's changed. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> Seriously? Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Hmm. Damn, that's rough, dude. Prescott Framler. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Hmm. I'll ask if he knows them. Do you know them? Do good for my working pal. Hmm. I know them through their bad deeds. Okay. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling from Bali High. Never forget that old fisherman never. I like that. Fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> oh, shit. Message. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's just a journal entry. Okay, never mind. Um, we might get to it later. For now, let's stick to the topic. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of playing somewhere <sighs> makes me feel 13 again. Okay. So she's obviously older than 13. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Where are you at, Chloe? Chloe. Come out and play. Where the fuck's she going? Chloe. Where are you at? Where the fuck is she? Maybe she's in the bathroom. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Seriously? God damn. Graffiti. Look at it. That graffiti has been here forever. Okay. Uh, huh, what's that? Rachel owes me a BJ. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, uh. Hmm. There's graffiti everywhere, including deer. That's weird. And a photo. Random, I guess. Hey, achievement unlocked. Compressed. Nice. Arcadia gay sucks deck. Ha! <laughs> Clever. Thank you, redneck poet. Clever. All right. Chloe, where are you at? Maybe I'm supposed. To, am I supposed to like text her or something? Uh, I'll sit down and figure this out. Maybe she'll show up. Or at least we'll be able to get some grub in the meantime. You know, it's what else. Ah. Ah. You do it, Matt. Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you. Oh, Joyce. That's uh. Black, I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, but you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> That's uh, Chloe's mom. story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Mm. I promise. I know things were hard for you, Chloe. 
I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone in Blackwell. Yeah. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sure. sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad. <sighs> that was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Yeah. I don't know if she does understand. But Chloe understands or Chloe has changed. I say she changed. Must have changed a lot during that time. Yeah. She hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Oh, typical, He's right? <laughs> Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yeah, I did. Or that he scared me. Oh, no. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Yeah. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in the war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Ooh, he cares about Kate Marsh. Hmm. Why not? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't be okay. Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner. <laughs> I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, oh, so she got expelled. What do you want to eat? Damn. Bacon omelet or a waffle. Let's go with the bacon. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Sorry, vegan friends. Now finish your coffee. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Okay. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Yeah. Right, what am I supposed to do? Oh, right, drink it. It's a big ass mug of coffee. I dig. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? This is like you can find it in Texas. <laughs> Son. Uh, damn it. Come on, look. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I thought I thought I drank it. This is like fourth dimensional. Alright, yeah, let's skip that. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here. Oh yeah, there it is. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Uh. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. Get your whole damn college fund on your tab. <laughs> Do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Okay, so she is 18. To get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. David, if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Rough. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? Huh. What is this shit on the jukebox? out of the way. 
Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, mm. that's just a daydream. I want proof. You can be on time. <laughs> proof. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. All right. Every single thing you have in your pockets. You have X-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. <laughs> I don't even know what's in my pockets. <laughs> Shit. Um, I didn't even see it. What happened? It's like keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Mm, skull, razor blade. Mm. I'm go with the razor blade. Or yeah, razor blade. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong. Damn it. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. All right, let's see it. Okay, smokes. Beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, so she has smokes. It looks like a bunny. Okay, let's look. Okay, Max. So oh. every item carefully and don't okay. forget anything. All right, so it's a, it's a bear on a keychain, pack of smokes, some quarters. Okay, so three quarters, one, two, three, four, five, six pennies, and a nickel. A ticket, and that's it. Okay, cool. All right, let's rewind. Oh, I got, I got to go all the way back. Jesus, okay. Let's go back faster, faster, faster. There we go, jeez. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Okay, so, you got keys. Your car keys. Yep. Okay, let's skip that part. It is a pangu, oh, it's panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. Yeah. So, you got that parking ticket. A parking ticket. What is the exact time I was busted? Oh, seriously? I didn't... Uh, fuck. 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. All right, cool. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. That's true. What does the hell that mean? <laughs> and he has smokes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? How many? Thirteen, we'll say. Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Damn it. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Ah, uh, fuck. All right, skip. I already did a fucking. So this is me telling you. Okay, skip. Okay, skip. Keys. Yeah, we got it. Okay, skip. Jeez. It is panda. A cute robot panda. Yeah, okay. Not bad, Super Max. Yeah, Super Max. You do have that iron. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, parking ticket. Parking ticket. Okay. Uh-huh. 1034. 1034. Yeah. Booyah. Max can tell time. Good job. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Okay. You got smokes. I'm pretty sure you. Okay. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Got it. So obviously it's less than thirteen, so we'll go seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Mm. Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Shit. You're really gonna make me do math this late at night. Okay, so 75, 86, 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Yeah, I can do math. Still got it, baby. Baseballs. I <laughs> just got chills all over my neck. 
Magic, right? You have powers. Magic hands. Take <laughs> that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Jeez. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Good answer. Good answer. Man, I'm hungry like a wolf. Clearly. Yeah. I'm freaking out. <sighs> Yes. You have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. <laughs> <laughs> now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. So, Joyce goes to the bars. Did you fills... break another cup? Okay. Really? No refill for you. Okay. Breaks the cup. Now I gotta take this call and leave my friend. Okay. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take the fight club outside. He started it. Okay. I'm finishing it. Alright. Is that it? Oh. Oh, right, right, Okay. Hi, hi. So, what are you waiting for? Okay. Now, pay attention to everything that happened. Did that already. So you can dazzle Chloe with okay. Alright. All right. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds. 30 seconds or so. Okay. So. Cop drops. Trevor? Uh, okay, trucker. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Yeah. So what happens next? Then uh, let's see. Alert on the cops radio and he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Alright, I, I gotta move this microphone, sorry. Sorry if there's any handling noise there. Alright, so Fight beats them, stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh huh. I think the trucker plays a new song. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I think that's what it was. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So she goes with the mug. Hey, how's it going? Uh, okay, and drops the mug. Oh no. Another cup? Really? No refill for you. Okay. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? Okay. I think not, Max. Uh huh. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Okay, okay. And this guy. Cockroach. 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 This is a sad day in Maxwell. It's a sad day. So what are you waiting for? Oh shit. I gotta do that again? God damn it. Everything that happens. Alright. So I just messed up the cockroach part, so uh alright. Let me alright. I just had to reposition the mic there. Okay, anyway, so alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So trucker drop the mug. Okay. So what happens next? Okay, uh da 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 let on the cops right and he leaves. The cop gets in Okay. Well, let's just Okay. Uh, Joyce stops him. Justin and okay. Getting good. Yeah. And apparently a cockroach crawls on it, not the trucker playing a new song. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Okay, let's see if everything turned out the way I said. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> hey there. 
Okay, so that's the trucker right there. Oh, no, he Did dropped his mug. Really? No refill for you. Mm -hmm. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my friend. Hey, where is my party? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. If not. I'm finishing it. That is wild. What are you doing? Okay, and then the cockroach goes and the jukebox goes off. Fucking Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So what are you waiting for? Wait, what? Now, pay attention to Hold everything on. that happened Didn't in the last I... few moments. So you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Did I mess something up? Speak. Again. Hey. Wait, what did I just do? What happened? Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Okay. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my friend. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. But he doesn't actually leave it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm a little confused, but I think. Okay. I'm going to predict. All right. Predict four events. Okay. Trevor drops his mug. The trucker got Okay. So what happened? Okay. Uh, let's see. Partner leaves. Where's my partner? Well, his partner left. The cop gets an emergency alert on the radio. Oh, yeah. Leaves without it. Well, let's just. Okay, that's what it was. I'm sorry, my brain's a little mer. So, anyway, so the drive stops him. Just All right, cool. It's getting good. All right. And the cockroach crawls on it. Okay. Alright. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, see, I got it right now, because it's the cinematic version, so. That's what it was. He didn't leave. Okay. Yeah, see, he left. Yep, yep, see, he left. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Yeah. You started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. So uh. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. You made a move on me and I would never know. <laughs> yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. Dang, man. It's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. <laughs> you did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? <laughs> let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick. Yeah. Okay, girl. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. Find places to go and pull me through. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Black Box. Oh, shit. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Jeez, Chloe. I'm an answer. See what happened. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. Oh, calm the fuck down, Chloe. Jesus. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later. 
Okay. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? Yeah, you are ridiculous. Jeez, Let's rock. Pete. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yes, whatever. What are we doing? Oh, scene. Okay, so some dude in a hat saw us leave. Okay. Hmm. The old junkyard or the Chloe cave. <laughs> Keep up. How Jeez. many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Uh. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Huh. Yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. Yeah. It freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. Yeah. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? Combo. Yeah, totally. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Oh my. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I know I said this is gonna be a longer episode, and it kind of is, but uh, I'm starting to really fall asleep here. So, um, and it's like four in the morning, I think now. So uh, anyway. I'm going to head to bed here soon. So just want to thank you guys for tuning in to my playthrough so far of uh, Life is Strange. I definitely want to pick this game back up again, you know, when possible. But for now, we're just going to uh, leave it here. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So, yeah, this is the Andy song. Time for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to my playthrough of Life is Strange. And tune in next week for a brand new game. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye You know, now that I think of it, why don't we come up with a new... Oh, shut up. Why don't we come up with a, uh, a new uh, catchphrase or new ending thing for my Andy Cade videos? Because I, I do like the whole, and I'll see you, that whole bit is an obvious Markiplier reference. So, I don't know, let's try something different. What do you guys think I should sign off with? I don't know. Sure, leave it in the comments below in the booby-doo-boots. But anyway, so, uh, see you guys next week. Bye.